all right guys what's up and today i'm gonna show you a little video for pokemon sun and moon and this basically goes to the people that have been asking me if sun and moon work with pk hex and yes it does with the newest pk hex update and yeah it works perfectly no issues whatsoever so let's get started i'm not gonna show you how to gen because it's gonna take a lot of my time but why not i'll probably make my lit in shiny so and yeah, let's get started here so i'm gonna go to save manager oh by the way save manager works with the cartridges i'm not sure if it supports with i mean supports the digital eShop versions but if it doesn't you could use jk save manager which i'll leave in the description as well and that will support digital and cartridge versions of pokemon or any other game all right so let's get started here so i'm gonna go with save manager i love save, i love using save manager i mean it's pretty straightforward i mean it doesn't require a lot of pressing buttons or nothing like that okay so i'm gonna go to save manager here i have pokemon moon and as you can see, no yellow screen. Perfect. All right, so as you can see, we have backup save data and import save data. So I'm gonna press A to back up. I'm just gonna press A again just to back it up, just to make sure. All right, perfect. I'm gonna remove my SD card and put it into my computer. All right, so usually my my what do you call it my folder opens up by itself okay i'm trying to look for pkx here as you can see we have box one full of alola pokemon here all shiny and if i go to my party box i'm gonna go to view as you can see litten is not shiny it does not have the red stars so i'm gonna set it and yeah you know what let's see what nature is it? I'm gonna give it a timid nature. All right, and stats. All right, so you get you can just chain it like this. Thirty-one, and EVs. I'll just I'll just leave them like how they were. You know what? Um. All right, let's give it 252, special attack, 252, and HP, let's give it a six. Okay, so I should be good to go. All right, and let's go back to my box. I'm gonna delete some of these. All right. and I'm gonna clone a couple of Alolan Ninetales all right so I'm gonna go to export and then export main and I'm just gonna press yes all right perfect now I'm gonna insert my SD card back and should be good to go all right yeah, it usually gives an error when you remove your SD card, but just go back to Save Manager. And it's pretty easy. I like I like Save Manager over JKSM because it's very straightforward, like I said, and pretty easy. Okay, so my data has been imported, and let's go to Pokemon Moon, and let's check out what, it, what we have. So remember, I cloned a couple of Alolan Nine Ninetales and made it in Shiny. Alright, so next we're going to be doing with JK Save Manager so you guys can see that it works as well. Uh, no need to go through Pokebank like how we did on Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. But yeah that's pretty much it
Okay, so let's check out the PC box. So we have Litten. See, I made it shiny. And here we have the Alolan shiny nine toes. All right, so you guys can see that works. So now we're gonna go with JK State Manager and yeah, let's give it a shot. <sighs> All right, for some reason, I don't know, Sun and Moon is a little bit laggy when you try to go to the home menu. All right. So I'm gonna launch Homebrew again. If you guys are curious to know how I launch Homebrew, feel free to let me know. And I'll leave a link to the description for the video. So I'm using Cubic Ninja, which is Ninjax. And that's a method to homebrew. Along with OTT hacks. Um, yeah, there's other methods, but those are probably the two easiest methods that are available. All right, so let's launch. Homebrew right now, and hopefully it works. Please no yellow screen. All right. So I'm gonna go with Pokemon Moon again. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go to JK's Save Manager, and like I said, you could go through. Just, you could go through pressing the game, or you could go through Pokebank. So up to you, doesn't matter. So me, I'll just press the game and this is not gonna give us a yellow screen at all. See, there you go. Even though, all right, so it's gonna download some files or whatever. And once you do this, you're gonna see this. So basically I'm using the cartridge and we're gonna go to export save. Now we're gonna select new. And you can rename it to anything. I'm just gonna rename it to. I'm gonna rename it to Pokemon Moon. Okay. So it's finished. All right. Now, second step. Remove the SD card. All right, so I'm going to delete this data right here. The, the save data backup, that's when you back up your games with Save Manager. All right. And I delete this one. All right. And let me open up. Where is it? I'm gonna open up my SD card and we if we go to JKSV, we go to saves, and as you can see, Pokemon Moon has been saved. Okay, so that's the backup data from the game. So we go to PK Hex. We're gonna see the same thing. And yeah, so whatever I backed up is gonna be there. So let's delete these. And I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna add one of these. Let me see. Open. No. I'm gonna add a roll it. As you can see, I made it legal. All right. So I made it legal. You guys see that it works. Okay. So I'm gonna press file. Export. Export main. And then you guys can see that this is from JK Save Manager. JK Save Manager saves Pokemon Moon, okay? So that pretty much identifies that I'm using JK Save Manager, all right? As you can see, JK Save Manager saves Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Moon dot main, okay? So we close this now. And remove your SD card. This is very important because if you try to import, it's going to give you an error. So go to exit, 
go back to JKC Manager. All right, open up your game. Great, and give us a yellow screen. Crap. <sighs> Alright, so I have to launch Homebrew again. Sorry for the delay, guys. Alright, let's launch Ninja Axe again. Okay, and we should be done pretty soon. Alright, come on. No yellow screen. Perfect. Alright. Let me insert back Pokemon Moon. And I'm gonna go to JK's Save Manager. Come on, work. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so now once you go back to JK Save Manager, go to import. Import save, I mean. Pokemon Moon. And are you sure you want to import Pokemon Moon? All right, so here's the bottom screen over here. So we're gonna press A and it's finished. All right, now we're gonna go back to exit. So remember guys, do not try to import any other data that, is, that does not belong to the game because it is gonna corrupt your data. So that's the only way you're gonna mess up your game. And if you don't have a backup data with that game, then you're pretty much screwed and you're gonna have to start all over, which that ain't fun, all right? So, yeah, people keep asking me if it works for Sun and Moon, so I have to make this video so that people can see that it works. Alright. Hopefully this video is under 10 minutes or so, which I doubt. Okay, so let's go to the PC box over here. As you can see, we had a roll it here and shiny as well. As you can see, I deleted all the nine tails. They're no longer here. Once again, that proves it works. So JK Save Manager and Save manager work perfectly with no issues, no yellow screen. Well, of course, you're gonna get a yellow screen here and there, but it's not like permanent yellow screen. So that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, then hit the dislike button. And you want to support the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your weekend and have a good one. And take care, people. Till the next video.